All right, in this video, let's take a look at another add-on. As developers, we all tend to add console log statements in our code. For example, if we want to check if the button click handler is working, we might actually put console log statement and check the console. Let's quickly add a new button story, which does just that. So in chakra button.stories.js, I'm going to quickly format this and add a new story. This is going to be export const log is equal to an arrow function. We're going to have a button. The text is going to be log. Variant color is going to be blue. And on click is going to be equal to an arrow function, which simply logs to the console button clicked. If you now save the file and go back to the browser, open the console, and click on the log button, we see the message in the console, button clicked. Now this is fine, but there is a way to avoid having to open the console to view the messages. And that is by using the console add-on. The first step is to install the add-on. So in the terminal, I'm going to hit control C and then run the command yarn add dash d for dev dependency at storybook slash add-on hyphen console. Once the installation completes, in our storybook folder within the preview.js file, we simply have to import the add-on. So import at storybook slash add-on hyphen console. If you now save the file and in the terminal, from the command yarn storybook. Our storybook should restart and if I click on the log button, you can see that we have the console output right here in the actions panel. You don't have to open the console tab in the dev tools anymore. Now there is some enhancement that can be done to our log statement. At the moment, we simply see the button clicked message. However, we could also ask the add-on to print the story information where this log statement is from. For that, we need to use decorators. First, modify the import statement. So this is going to be import with console from storybook slash add-on console. Then at the end, we make use of this import statement with the add decorator function. So I'm going to copy paste this. So it's going to be add decorator. We get story and the context as arguments and we call with console passing in story function and the context. And that is pretty much it. Since we have modified preview.js, let's restart the server. If we now click on the log button, you can see that along with the button clicked message, we can now identify that the message is from the log story in chakra slash button component. So that is about the console add-on. It helps you get all your console output in your storybook and saves you from keeping the browser console opened. In the next video, let's take a look at another useful add-on. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.